Hello my crafty friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room. I hope you will craft along with me today. I am going to work today on this junky junk journal that we started uh, during the uh, hashtag junk no more collab. That's a collab that's hosted by myself and Maria of Maria. Maria's Miscellany, my good friend. And we used this little piece right here that came from a little red hand, a little golden book right here, like that. So, uh, yes, this we started out with uh, this. And what is junky about this is the, the gift bag that I'm using here. So uh, I picked it up just now. Um, you know, I'm kind of like working on it during an, an ephemera and things for it during uh, the collab, which is on the 14th of each month. But uh, I want to work on it uh, more than that, too, because I want to do other things to it besides junky things. <laughs> so um, it's kind of like I like to use, I'm really enjoying using uh, junky junk in my journal, some of my journals. But I like to pretty it up, and it's like you don't even know it's junk by the time you're done, you know what I mean? So it's pretty fun uh, doing that if you haven't done that before. And so this was an old gift bag I had in my gift bag stash in the other room. And I thought it was a pretty color as far as like a good neutral uh, background. I did just now cut off the bottom. The bottom was on here. And it was just too thick. Like this is nice and sturdy already with the two layers of paper bag. Plus I've got book page plus the, um, I mean music page plus the book page. And now I'm going to add some fabric on here. So that's what we're going to do today is I just thought I'd turn the camera on. I was just going to do it off camera. I thought I'll just do it on camera so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I still have the gusset in here. I figured I'm probably going to sew across the top and the bottom and then leave. try to leave the sides open as pockets. So uh, let's just see if we can, um, if I can do this. Uh, I pulled out this pretty fabric. I showed it to you. I think uh, when I was making this cover, but it's been a couple months, so you might not, if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen it, but I'm just going to tear this fabric into the shape I need. So I'm going to put this flat piece here. This piece looks like it was torn already. I don't know if it was by me or what. This, I, I, I think I've gotten, I got this fabric at a thrift store, believe it or not. It's so beautiful. You would think I bought it brand new somewhere, right? But it is gorgeous, and that is where I got it at a thrift store, believe it or not. I can't even believe it myself. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so I was going to, I think I'm going to, um, I'm trying to think if I want to keep this length, the width or the length. So I think I'm going to tear, I think I want to, I think I would like a long piece. Well, I don't want to waste, let's see, this is pretty wide, so I think I can go ahead and tear here. So let me make sure this is uh, good over on this side. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a hard decision when you're deciding where to tear your fabric. So I think I'm going to tear about right here. Should be pretty much the right size. I mean, I could go ahead and just glue it down and then cut it, but I really like the torn kind of uh, frayed edge a lot of times. Or most of the time, if I can do it, I do like the frayed edge. If I can't do that, like it's a fabric that won't tear for me or whatever, I will use my pinking shears. I also like a pinked edge. So, there we go. Get the strings off of there. So, you know, I've got, still got this nice long piece in case I need a long piece for something. I was thinking maybe tie closure, some for the uh, outside, spine, things like that. So... We've got our, let's see what we need to do next. What did I, how did I have this? Let's see, I tore off the, uh, I don't know how I had it now. <laughs> I must have had it like this. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get my, get my uh, bearings here. Okay, yeah. Something like this I must have had. Okay. Oh, I think I had it like this from the bottom, didn't I? I had it even down here. You know I did. Oh, I had it turning around. I got it now. <laughs> I got lost there for a second. I had this smooth edge, like this, almost like the salvage ed edge over here. And I had a frayed edge down at the bottom. 
here's where we just tore. Okay. And sorry about that, getting confused there for a second as I turned, as I flip flopped everything around. Okay, so that will be like that. And then I've just got to get this string off of here, it's bothering me. And now, okay, so we've got a straight edge here, salvage edge, like I said, frayed, frayed. And now we need to tear across the top. So I want to make sure it's long enough. And then I can tear across the top. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and tear here, and then we're going to we're going to glue it down and see how this looks. I think this is going to look beautiful. So I'm working on. I'm going to show you before this video is before we say goodbye today. I'm going to show you. The other uh, junky junk journals I've been working on. So that's been part of my mobile crafting the last uh, probably couple of months. I'm going to put glue all over here. I have my glue spreader here. And so I'm going to do one half at a time. And so, yeah, on my lunch break, I've been working on my junky junk journal. So I have a bunch of paper, you know, junky junk journal paper that I've collected from different sources and so I've been cutting that up and making pages for my junkie junk journals and I'm going to show you those and then also I want to do another video where I've kind of uh, if you've ever made junkie junk journals uh, maybe you went through the same process as me like uh, I never made them before I made the last bunch a few or whatever I made like a uh, I don't know how many I made, but I made a few so far. And I collected, like, started collecting junky junk paper and envelopes and things. You know, all the things I've cut you come across in your life. And uh, it got to be too much. It was just so much. <laughs> There's so much junk in the world, apparently. I mean, you know it. You know it. But when you actually collect it, you're like, well, that's too much junk. <laughs> At least I am. I just can't keep it all. So, um, so now I'm going to do a video where I'm sorting through and I'm going to show you, I, I, I I'm going to have to uh, just get a little bit more picky about what I keep is what it is. So I'm going to show you and sort through my junky junk journal basket I have right here behind me. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm throwing out and what I'm keeping. So it boils down to, I'm just going to get a little, a little more picky about what I keep. And keep what I, because I was keeping, you know, kind of like, almost like everything. And I'm just going to keep what I really like. So I kind of, as I've been working on the journals I've been working on, I kind of figured out, you know, what I really like. You know, like, there's, you know, you can use it all, but you may not like really like it all or... You know, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I'll, sh I'll, I'll try to explain myself better when I'm sorting through my basket. <laughs> so we're going to do that one day before the next uh, Junkie or Junk No More uh, day, which is April 14th. And this that day will be, uh, the, the prompt is um, Junk Mail. So that should be fun. Okay, there we go. I like how it's even sticking up over like on the top like that. It adds a nice little color there. So isn't that pretty on the inside there, that yellow? It looks so like, you know, chickens are like farm related, farm themed. And so this looks very country, like country calico type uh, fabric. And it goes really well with this little paper bag. So I'm going to put another piece here. But before I do that, I want to decide on my tie closure because I think I might try to weave it underneath the um, the piece that I put on the spine here because you can't uh, put it on the inside. I thought about putting it in here, but then it would, when you bring it together, it would be like you'd have, it'd be like this. <laughs> and that's no good. So I thought, well, let me see if I can put it on the outside. So. I don't know if I'm going to use fabric. I might use a piece of this fabric. That's why I wanted to leave it nice and wide. Or I might look at my ribbon. or And I'll look at my ribbons and then I'll decide. 
So let me show you my junky junk journals I've been working on. I have one more I gotta work on. Um, I thought I had all the covers out of my cover stack, you know, my cover pile that I have in my closet of uh, journal covers. I had made a bunch with book covers. And I, these are these are what these are. I thought I pulled them all out, and then the other day I was looking at my co book covers again, and I found another one. So I've got that in my bag to take to work <laughs> to to finish that one off, or do something with that one, so I can have all the the book page book covers out of there. So um, I've got two this shape, the long and narrow, two this shape, and two this shape, and the other one that I have in my bag is more like this shape. I like all of the shapes. And so if you didn't see any of these videos so far where I've been working on these, I took the book cover um, covers out, book page covers out, and I painted them all with just random paints I have here in my craft room. See how I just painted. Isn't it funny how you can see right through the yellow though? <laughs> it didn't cover up anything, it added color. And the brown covered up the words. Uh, this one, orange, you can pretty much see through, but it did cover it up pretty good. I might have used uh, um, two colors on this, brown and orange. And then this one is purple, as you can see. We've got, this one's green and blue, and this one's, and some turquoise, I think, in there. And this one's more turquoise and maybe some blue mixed in there. But anyway, let me show you an example of the pages. I've got all the pages I'm going to put in here now, but I got to line, I got to still line the inside with something. So that's, and then I'm going to, I'm going to decorate the covers. I'm going to make them pretty now. I'm going to use the junky junk, but we're going to make them pretty. So recently I got these books that are like home decorating books, and I, uh, um, they were free, <laughs> so I figured they're kind of like junky junk. Somebody was getting rid of them, kind of like throwing them out. There, so they were free. So I figured, and that's kind of like junky junk, right? So anyway, but I really like the colors and the pages. So I picked out, I think I picked out one or two for each journal because I was kind of done, but then I like these pages so much. I thought they would look so cool in here. So I put, I think we put two in each one. But here's, and, I, and it's, it's, they're a nice sturdy paper. So it's a nice, uh, pretty and sturdy paper to start out with. And then here's how they go. This is, um... This is the that book I just mentioned, and then this is a uh, paper that covered our uh, Rima paper at work. This is uh, wrapping paper, you know, like stuffing that you pa packaging that you they stuff into your packages. That's what this is. This is a menu. This is more wrapping paper from a ream of paper. It's a totally different. See how this one's orange and blue. This one's white and blue more wrapping paper. This is some paper that I dyed with uh, the re remnants of a paint, a uh, little paint bottle, purple. This is a uh, an envelope from work that I cut off the, a piece of it to make a page. These are two of the uh, stuffing pages and I just put them together. I had two little scraps and put them together as little pages like together. I think that's kind of cool to have. They're two separate pages but they're together like almost like they're one page because they're cut together but they're separate. <laughs> Does that make sense? And then here's another piece of that envelope here. That white. But then this is a regular paper envelope. The other one was the uh, this kind of paper here. Okay this was a this was a uh, uh, Tyvek. This is a Tyvek envelope. That's what I'm trying to think of. This is a Tyvek envelope. There's those two pages. And then this is a white envelope. And this is some more of that dyed paper with my purple ink, my purple paint residue. And this is from the, isn't that pretty? This is from that uh, decorating magazine. Or it wasn't a magazine, it was a book that somebody threw out. I thought, wow, you know, that's I mean, when somebody throws something out, that's that's junk, that's trash. But I have saved it and put it in this journal, and I think that's a beautiful page. So uh, that's that's what I've been doing with all of these. I'll show you one more. But I'm picturing I, I might use some wallpaper to decorate some of the covers, maybe some uh, Tim Holtz. 
uh, different ephemera. So just stay tuned for whatever we figure out on that. Uh, what would you like to see? Let's look at this purple one. Let's see what I put in here. Okay, so. Oh, I'm going to sew around these too. I'm going to sew around these uh, covers before we probably before we decorate them. I'm, I'm going to line the inside and then sew around them before we decorate them. But what I have in here, here's a page from the decor, or the, I guess it's a decorating magazine. Uh, I keep calling it a magazine. It's actually a book. So you can see, it's a pretty page. I really liked the um, colors here. You look how floral, a lot of them had floral. I picked out some with pretty colors and florals and things. And that is another one there. The paper that was wrapped around a ream of paper, the Tyvek paper, the uh, white envelope. Now here's two scraps here that I put together as one page. And this is a piece of the paper that was wrapped around a ream of paper. And this is the packing paper. This is type. Oh, this is, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, let me see if I have this upside down. I think I have it upside down. We'll go backwards now, though, since we started back here. Tyvek paper, wrapping paper. This is from a ream of paper. Isn't that pretty? It was the paper that's wrapped around a new ream of paper that I get. You know, it's at work, and we unwrap the paper, and I keep it. <laughs> I unwrap it, so it's like I'm unwrapping, unwrapping a present. People probably think I'm crazy. I haven't told them I'm using it for my crafts. I just like carefully unwrap the paper and take it to my desk. They're like, what is she doing with that paper? <laughs> but here's a piece from a calendar. A little butterfly from a little calendar. And that's that's that one. So, yeah. A lot of fun, right? So that's what I've been doing at my lunch break. Just having fun making little books. Um... So I just want to show you those that I'm making progress on those and do that quick little inside of this journal. So uh, this cover. So I think it's going to be really so cute. It feels good already in my hands. It's going to be a really neat little kind of flexible uh, journal. But uh, let's see. So when we come back, I will show you what I picked out for the closure and we'll put something on the spine. I know it's just a little bit here and there, but um, that way we have just short, shorter videos, right? So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I had got these out, these two little books here, in case I needed them. Needed them, But uh, I think I'm not going to use them in here. Uh, I was thinking about it, but I think I'm going to just... I love Little Red Hen, the story, so much that I think I'm just going to make journals out of these too. So... <laughs> I might, those might have to be next. I don't know. I have them out, so I might. I probably should just do it because I've always, I've never made a little red hand journal, but I always buy the books because I love them. So what am I waiting for, right? So thanks for watching today. I will see you in my next video, and I hope you have a great day.